Hey guys, it's Misio, and I'm back to play Minecraft. Um, unfortunately, it's not my Witcher series because I'm having some bit of issues uh, with it. But I found a new pack on the AT launcher um, that I'm going to try. Uh, it's called Utopia, and it's an adventure-based pack. So. Um, Let's get going. I'm gonna move myself. Mm. So yeah. So this um, this pack is adventure based. It's got a quest system uh, where you start out trying to join um, the adventurers guild. Uh, it's kind of scaring me. <laughs> Basically, you have to make a bunch of things in order to join them, and then you have to make them food and stuff um, in order to gain reputation, I think. And then you get professions where you do stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much the idea of the mod pack. Um, the beginning quest is pretty simple. I just have to make a furnace, a pickaxe, um, Crafting table. I think that's it. Z open. First quest. Crafting table, furnace, and a pickaxe made of flint. Um, so I had the best luck ever and I spawned right next to a village. Um, and also there's a giant tower here, um, which I know from playing Hexit has a lot of uh a lot of loot in it. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start uh, trying to find- well, first of all, I need flint. Last time I had a bit of a trouble, but then I <coughs> soon realized that um, if I make three flint- no, three gravel I think it is, next to each other in a- um, that's only two, where did the last one go? Okay. Uh, like this, that makes a fence. I wish I'd known that earlier, but whatever. I also had like, I, I spawned over there somewhere, and I walked over here, and there were three pork chops and an emerald just lying on the ground. So, I don't know what's up with that, but hey, I got food and I got myself some uh, emeralds, which I think I should be able to use to trade with these people. So this pack has like, I think it has like relationships. When I started I could choose my gender and I can choose if kids grow up uh, automatically and if, um, yeah, if kids grow up automatically and stuff like that. So I think if I talk to these people, yeah, they have like, they have names, they are mo have moods, and their traits, and I can make them follow me, and stuff like that. Let's see if we can trade with him. He needs six emeralds. Oh, that's a lot. Um, so yeah. This mod pack has a lot of fun stuff in it as well. Uh, it's got necromancy, which I thought was kind of creepy. Uh, I think it's like that. Or not? Okay, fine, you be that one. Um, basically, yeah, it's got a lot of stuff that I can make. It's got like lungs and hearts and stuff <laughs> to make things in necromancy, which is kind of kind of cool and kind of creepy. So we'll try to figure out how that works. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> basically, um. I tried starting up this on a different uh, map, but I had really, really bad luck on the spawn point. And in addition to just spawning in a really strange place, I also spawned in. Oh, just don't mind. I do. Uh, what's this? A boiler. Cool. So it's steam stuff instead of. Uh, can I put these in here to get them? Ah, that is cool! I will have to try to remember this. <coughs> but yeah, I spawned in a pretty normal 
biome, but we bring very little stuff in it. And in addition, I spawn. I don't know if I spawned him or if he just spawns naturally, but if you've ever played The Binding of Isaac, um, he's in this game! And he is a major boss, to say the least. Um, and yeah, I, he pretty much killed me repeatedly for ages, and it was kind of awkward because I don't like being farm basically, <laughs> so in the end I just had to go away from that um, save and start over. But that's fine because this one seems to be a lot better. I mean, hello, duh. And there's a nice biome over here where I might actually settle down for myself. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like settle down or if I can just... Um, or if I'm supposed to be adventuring and leave, moving around, because the next quest that you get after um, making the pickaxe and all that stuff is making a backpack, and I think those are usually made to keep them, you know, moving around. So we'll see. If I don't, um, if I'm not supposed to st stick around, then that's fine too. Cause that's kind of cool. You don't really do that much in Minecraft. You kind of just build in one space and stay there. But Got the crafting table. Uh, I need to make the pickaxe. And now the thing is, pickaxe is Tinker's Conquest, which we've done before. Um. It just takes a lot of materials and a lot of time to get it started, um, but it's fine once you start it, it's cool. Um, last, like, I can make the normal vanilla Minecraft stuff here, but I kind of prefer to just do the Tinker's Construct straight away, instead of just, I can make an axe and make this go faster, but I can make a better axe in Tinker's Construct, and I'm supposed to make a better axe in Tinker's Construct in the next quest. So why wouldn't I? So let's just start with that instead, right? <coughs> so let's see, I need one of these to stay like that, and then... I think I need a that. So... There's no way I'm gonna get this entire tree, so I'm just gonna get a couple on. Oh shit, it's getting dark. I have to go back. So yeah, this mo this mod pack is scary as hell. There is so much scary stuff in here. Um, there's like wraiths, and there's um, what are they called? They're called like Jabberwockies or something like that. Um, Ooh, there's a there's cosmic thing here. Cool. Um, yeah, double somethings, and they're basically deer that walk on two feet and have giant, massive claws. <coughs> I yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there's a blacksmith here. Let's see. There's. Yeah, an apple, thorny mingo, and an iron helmet. Put that one right away. So I've kind of just like taken up um, space in basically a graveyard, I think it was, which is kind of creepy, but it was the first house after I got in. Um, oh, they're killing things already. <laughs> Maybe I'll go in here. If there was a... Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll stay in here, I, I think. Um, I need to make myself the pickaxe. So, let's see. Let's put you down 
there. And here. What I'm gonna do is wait, I gotta detect this one. So yeah, that's all. It's... And I can put it down like that, and I can make a chest. I'm gonna make two chests. One is going to become a patterns chest, I think. So I have a feeling one of these houses here probably have all of this. But let's see. Uh, your tool and your stencil table. I'm missing the part. Builder. Heart builder. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that? Is that? Oh, Yay! So, let's see. Let's put our stencils in here. I need a tool rod, accent, and uh, small binding. There. Now, this should be in the oh, wrong way around. Sorry. I don't know if you can hear my dogs barking, but if you can, I'm sorry. They are being really annoying and I basically can't do anything about it. <laughs> hey! Okay. Let's put this together. So I make a pickaxe with ta -da! and then I have to wait until well daylight basically and go get some stone. I think I'm I'm not convinced it's a good idea to go out there on my own yet, so I'm just gonna stay here. I need to figure out how to refill this, because this is cool. If I don't need anything but water to, uh, to use those. That one, I mean. And then we'll put these in here. Ah, I'm running out of water, I think. No, it's got plenty of water. What's in the other one, I wonder? Hmm. We'll figure that out, I'm not sure. Let's go up, so up top and see if there's anything up here. So I think this place probably had guards. That can keep me safe. That's fine. Um, I'm okay with having guards around. There's a skeleton and a creeper. There's all super scary stuff outside, but yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, but the guards fall into the well. That's not good, is it? See if I can get him out. <laughs> not gonna be able to protect me from them. Well, let's see. Oh, you do. You wanna come outside? Everyone's in the well. That's. There we go. I do need stone. Maybe I'll just cannibalize the this for a bit. That should be good for us, shouldn't it? Maybe fine. Let's put it far down. That'll make me a furnace! Um Probably have not candleized one in this boiler thingy as well, but I wanna I wanna be proper and make it myself. Now the next one is to make a bunch of things in stone and a bow. Last time the bow was the issue because finding string turned out to be difficult. Um, but I think this time it should be fine. Let's dump our emeralds. Why do I have two of them? That's weird. I think maybe if these villagers die, they drop one. So, 